Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. The topic of this video is, why is the harvest only two and a half years? And how do we know that? Brothers and sisters, we know that the next seven years are the sealed tribulation. The Lord has revealed that through many, many of our videos. And Triple Grace has now, I don't know, are we already at the 4000 mark of videos? Most likely. Today, in the final video, I will guide you to the playlist so that you get a better understanding of the ministry. So that you can stand with the Kingdom of God for such a time as this. But in this video we talk about the two and a half years of harvest. Why is it not three and a half? Why is it not the first half of of seals? Seals will be seven years. Why is it then not the harvest not three and a half and the last three and a half the time for the Antichrist? Because we know from second Esther's chapter thirteen, the war against the mountain at the, at the sixth seal, the enemy, the Antichrist, will be killed by Jesus, the one who is standing on Mount Zion. So if the Antichrist is killed at the sixth seal, in the sixth year, then we can count from there backwards. He must have, according to scripture, Revelation 13, the first beast, that is the one for the New World Order, Mr. O, he will have 42 months. It's clearly stated there. That is his time. That is three and a half years. So, he must have his three and a half years. There is nowhere stated that the harvest will be three and a half years. No. But it's stated that Antichrist will have 42 months in the scripture. So, from the six year, three and a half years backwards, will only leave us with two and a half years of harvest. Now you can see how will we bring in a multitude that nobody could number within two and a half years. And then I will point you to our website 555loop.com. If you are not yet there, if you are not part of the of the forum there on that website, that website, you are missing out. You are totally missing out on everything. Because that explains you that there is a loop taking place. Because there will be linear and circular time in the same moment on earth as it was with Jesus first coming. And now you walk as his, his images here on earth to bring it to an end together with the Lord. To bring in the harvest, the lost house of Israel, the lost ten tribes, and the Gentiles grafted in. All this now is coming to a conclusion. Through us, the newly appointed disciples and apostles that will come forth for such a time as this. Appointed by whom? By Triple Grace? No. By Michael? No. Of course not. They are appointed by the Father as called two sons and daughters. The birth of the sons of God in, in Romans. The light that will step forth into the nations as an image of the Lord. When Jesus always told you, you must walk in my footsteps, then that is the time for the end now where you will walk in his footsteps with that light. The beacon of light and the rock. Peter is the rock, the rock in the storm. It is all in the scripture and is all laid out clearly before you. So two and a half years of harvest will only be there and it will be possible because there will be a loop. And loop means that you will be sent into mission in other dimension, other realities and that people will be rescued from all over the place and that is the reason why. Why there will be such a huge harvest at the end. Remember, when Jesus died on the cross, he had the key and he went to hell to set the captives free. What kind of captives were there? It is a little bit complicated but you need to understand 
that the Satan was unlawfully holding saints in his hades when they actually belonged to Abraham's bosom. So he was setting them free by entering there into the realm of the darkness as the first fruit of the light and to set the captives free, Isaiah 61. And now it will continue with you as a harvest worker, with you as a powerful warrior. It will continue right now. On earth and in other dimensions and realities. Through the loop. So if you are not yet part of 555loop.com, then go there. A link will be provided in the first pin comment. And also I will put a link in the first pin comment about the one of the most important videos that I have ever made. It is 772223333 explaining to you the seal and trumpet tribulation and why they are different. And you need to understand this. I will link it also there so that you can listen to it again. Because more and more signs of this are coming forth right now. This time of the witnesses, the seal tribulation, and the time of of the Trinity, the the powerful, rightful Trinity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit versus the fake Trinity of Satan, the anti, the second beast, and the false prophet. All is ex explained in that video. You need to watch it to understand the ministry and its course. Otherwise, you come forth with wrong accusations. It is all f about the kingdom and kingdom purposes and nothing else to bring forth the truth of the kingdom. It is not for the glory of one person, not for the glory of the one who speaks, not for the glory of the ministry, not for the glory of a, demo a denomination or a church. No, it is for the glory of the kingdom and the Father who sits on the throne and his Son, our Lord and Savior and our Bridegroom. And therefore, you need to understand. Watch the playlist. Get them all. Get an understanding what the ministry is all about. Brothers and sisters, I love you all so dearly. But lately I see voices coming forth who have the heart of a church and not the heart of a warrior. And you need to understand first before you say something. Brothers and sisters, it is so easy to come against the Holy Spirit if you are not searching out the truth. Brothers and sisters, thank you that you are standing with Triple Grace, that you are supporting the ministry, that you are allowing us to bring forth the truth of the kingdom. And the two and a half years of harvest with the loop is another sign of the glory of the kingdom of God, because in that short time of two and a half years, it would not be otherwise possible to bring in the multitude closed in one. But it is possible because of the Father. And in the moment, we have in the forum a wonderful testimony of somebody who is also built a safe haven and why God is bringing them forth. You need to be there. Sign up for the forum. I will put a link to that testimony also there, so that you see that there are many people guided to build safe havens, not only Michael, and it's not for my glory, it is all for the glory of the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, this is a call to all the powerful harvest workers and warriors, take everything what I tell you before the Lord, everything, and the Lord will bring clarity to my words. Because these are not my words. These are the words that I receive from the kingdom of heaven, from the Father itself. So that you stand ready for such a time as this. Two and a half years harvest, and then three and a half years of Antichrist, the first beast. Not the second beast. The second beast comes during trumpet, the first beast. Then the first beast will be killed at the war against the mountain. Brothers and sisters, this is also understanding and it, it's biblical because you see very clearly the 42 months of the first beast in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. Brothers and sisters, it is a time to step 
forward and to stand on the battlefield against the evil forces. And that includes, unfortunately, most of the churches who have also a wrong understanding, who have removed the kingdom of God very far from the earth. When in contrary, the kingdom of God over the last seven years was coming closer and closer and closer. And now Jesus will walk it for 40 days. Everything is biblical. Everything is done. Why? Because it's a restoration of all things. It is that what is written in the scripture. That the Lord will just come back and with the feet down on the base of Mount of Olives. The moment when the restoration of all things is complete. Why? Because the millennium kingdom is the new paradise on earth that will be then fostered with the return of the Garden of Eden, with the new Jerusalem. And then a new heaven and new earth will commence. Brothers and sisters, you need to understand that. There might be another teaching inside about the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God differences. Because one is for the house of Judah and one is for us. It's also another interesting understanding brothers and sisters now it is a time to stand now it's a time to be strong not the time for any doubts not the time for bickering and fighting with one another the time to stand together as warriors in the remnant army of new zion because our lord and savior is at the door do not miss out by pl placing false accusation or anything and then the lord will pass your door and say no this person is not ready. He is not worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Don't do that. But put all your face together and take it to the Lord and ask the Holy Spirit for, for clarification and you will receive it in Jesus' name I pray. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.